the jobless 11-year-old who invented Lay's. We've all heard how beneficial it is to start early in life, but this kid took it seriously and grew up to become one of the most successful businessmen. From having nothing to landing a fortune, Herman Lays founded Lays and later Frito-Lay and PepsiCo, becoming one of the largest packaged potato chip manufacturers in the world. Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. This video is going to be quite an interesting one because today we will be discussing everything about the revolutionary salesman Herman Lay. The kid who grew up to become one of the best starting from his historical background to the successes of Frito-Lay and PepsiCo, we are going to tell you everything there is to know about him. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, let's discuss some facts about the life of the founder, Herman Lay. He was born in Charlotte, North Carolina on the 6th day of March in 1909. As a kid, he would end up moving around different states in America due to his father's job. But because of this, at an early age of 11, he was inspired by his father's effortless selling skills. Herman started selling his first products, which were soft drinks from right outside his front yard on a stand. Due to shifting a lot across the states, his education was disturbed quite a bit. But despite this, he was able to find himself a sports grant to fund his learning at Furman University. However, he later would drop out due to a lack of interest in studying. Herman was not set back by his troubles in education though and focused on working at a biscuit factory due to his family's financial situation, which unfortunately forced him to start earning money. Maybe it was just his luck that he was laid off from his job, but also because of the Great Depression at the time, which had created an economic crisis. After getting laid off from work, Herman then tried starting a new business as a traveling salesman for Barrett Food Company, which polished his selling skills as he would deliver potato chips directly to customers. Herman Lay was a forward thinker and had entrepreneurial skills in his blood, as a result of which he opened his own snack foods distribution business in Nashville. Driven by his passion for selling, he started gaining success as he began selling homemade chips to everyday commuters on local trains and buses. As a result of the sales that were driven by his business, he started making profits, and by 1939, Herman Lay had the financial strength to purchase the Barrett Company, a snack food manufacturer in Atlanta. He renamed this organization the H.W. Lay & Company, which became the center of his operation for almost two years before he created the national brand Lay's in 1944. Herman, who had been struggling from the initial beginning of his career, now had a national brand to his name which was growing large in popularity all across America. Herman realized there was no major potato chip manufacturer in the country, let alone a famous snack brand that the common people were purchasing to satisfy their hunger. He saw the business opportunity and the available demand in the market and was quick to act on his ideology. Herman had successfully turned Lay's potato chip line into the most in-demand snack across the South, based only on word-of-mouth marketing at the time. And by 1956, H.W. Lay & Company was the largest potato chip and snack food manufacturer in America, with over 1,000 employees and plants in eight cities. His vision and exceptional selling skills were proving to be extremely advantageous in his line of work, and in future times to come, it was these very skills that continued to expand his business. While Herman Lay was continuing to operate H.W. Lay & Company, the Doolin family had founded the Frito Corporation and were selling Fritos, which were corn chips and dipping sauces, in 1932. The Frito Company was created by Charles Elmer Doolin, and they later opened up several production plants with nationwide licensed franchises across America. H.W. Lay & Company saw the potential in Frito Company products and quickly got his hand onto a license to sell their products and became engaged in selling Fritos. Herman Lay had the license for Frito distribution and production in Southeast America. In 1955, Herman had more than 50 different production plants and was a major producer of the Frito product. Selling products was a piece of cake for Herman and seeing the future of potato chip distribution across America, he merged his company with the Frito Company in 1961 due to their close affiliation. Thus, Frito-Lay Incorporated was created, with the headquarters set up in Dallas, Texas. Herman Lay was declared the president and chief executive officer of Frito-Lay because of his exceptional leadership skills which had been proved by the successes he had already acclaimed in operating H.W. Lay & Co. The Frito-Lay Co. had a staggering revenue of approximately $127 million at the time. 
This was all due to the success of the major four brands of the organization, Fritos, Cheetos, Ruffles, and Lay's. Being a visionary, Herman kept expanding and growing the operations of his organization and Frito-Lay Inc. was growing successfully. Maybe it was just a coincidence or the right place at the right time that Herman Lay came across the CEO of Pepsi-Cola, Donald M. Kendall, in 1965. Pepsi-Cola was a carbonated soft drink manufacturer that had successfully grown by 1965 with annual sales of $500 million. The two quickly hit it off and a merger was declared between the two companies which established PepsiCo. At this point, Frito-Lay had grown huge and already processed 46 production plants in America and over 150 distribution centers across the United States. Donald M. Kendall, who was the head of PepsiCo, was declared the president and chief executive officer at Pepsi-Cola, but Herman Lay was declared chairman of the board of PepsiCo up until 1971 for almost six years until he was declared the PepsiCo chairman of the executive committee, a position he held until his retirement in 1980. Today, Frito-Lay is a subsidiary of PepsiCo that was ranked number 39 in 2020 on the Forbes list of the world's most valuable brands. Frito-Lay has a $19 billion revenue and 1,100 different snack foods being produced under the company name. The annual operating profit of more than half of the North American division of PepsiCo is driven by Frito-Lay alone. Frito-Lay's products are exported to more than 79 different countries around the world. PepsiCo has a $25 billion net worth today, all because of the corporation that was created under the expertise and umbrella of Herman Lay, who is credited as a pioneer in the industry because of his talent in selling products that proved to be successful for the first Lay's, then Frito-Lay, and by 1980, for PepsiCo as well. He trusted his employees and wanted people to grow. He was not a conventional leader, but a motivating personality for his workers. Herman Lay developed professional employee training programs and ensured reliable employment for his employees. He engaged in several philanthropies and social interests and profoundly promoted entrepreneurship. However, in his final years, he suffered from cancer and finally laid to rest at 73 years old in 1982. He led a successful career for almost 40 years in which he was the root cause of the successes of multiple organizations that we still see today. The Frito-Lay subsidiary of PepsiCo is in a league of its own and has gone through a lot to reach the point where it is. Through successful leadership, strategies, and consistent innovation, Herman Lay has left a legacy for the company, which is continuing at an unstoppable pace. His life story is a source of inspiration, proving that setbacks are meaningless when vision is present. Consistency and hard work pay off, and sheer determination to follow your passion is what Herman Lay established throughout the span of his career, along with maintaining strategic alliances for long-term growth. Herman Lay grew up as a kid with nothing, but he did not let this get to him and turned his life upside down just by following his passion. Okay, so that's a wrap for the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.